Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to pray this morning. The final day of May. You believe it? Um, what a what a joy to uh, mark God's faithfulness. Again, this morning, we gather together for morning prayer, page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. Today, we mark the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So the readings are um, different because of that. So follow along with me. We get to read the Te Deum this morning, which is one of my favorites. So grateful for that. Page 80, and the psalm appointed is Psalm 72. So be ready for Psalm 72. <clears throat> Let's pray. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the Isles shall pay thee tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and the poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always. May they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lesson from the book of Hebrews, the third chapter, beginning at the first verse. Therefore, holy brothers and sisters who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, the apostle and high priest whom we confess. He was faithful to the one who appointed him, just as Moses was faithful in all God's house. Jesus has been found worthy of greater honor than Moses, just as the builder of a house has greater honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Moses was faithful as a servant in God's house, testifying to what would be said in the future. But Christ is faithful as a son over God's house. And we are his house. We hold on to our courage and the hope in which we boast. Here ends the reading. We're going to read Canticle 21, which is the Te Deum. Te Deum Laudamus. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing an endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. 
You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Father in heaven, by your grace, the virgin mother of your incarnate son was blessed in bearing him, but still more blessed in keeping your word. Grant us who honor the exaltation of her lowliness to follow the example of her devotion to your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. All right, have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for coming to pray, and uh, hope to see you at Zion on Sunday, locals. Have a great day.